The 2016 Skyrim modding guide makes some noise in episode 26 with sound overhaul mods. Get it? Sound overhaul? Noise? Yeah, never mind. First, we install audio overhaul for Skyrim 2. Then I'll overwrite that with Immersive Sounds Compendium and wrap up all the patches needed to make everything work into one using Mator the Eternal's Merge Plugin Standalone. Finally, we'll discuss Sounds of Skyrim and why it is problematic for so many Skyrim modding setups. Hey guys, it's Calvin Dirty Weasel and welcome back to the 2016 Skyrim Modding Guide. And in this episode, we're going to be doing sound overhauls. And we'll be doing, like I said, audio overhaul for Skyrim 2 and immersive sound compendium. We'll also do some merging of plugins and show you how that all works and uh, give you some references on how to learn how to do those things properly. And then we'll finally talk a bit about Sounds of Skyrim and why I don't use it. But let's get started. We'll go into the Nexus and we will take a look at our first mod. And we have Audio Overhaul for Skyrim 2 by David Jugutzi, also known as Lord Corn, And it is mod number 43773. And you can see it's been around since 2013 and we had a recent update in August of 2015 where they included a new installer. And basically this has been my default audio for a long, long time. I always liked it. I like the way it changed things. But basically if you're wondering what it does, you know, you can go ahead and see ambiance, weapons, magic, movement, reverb system, sound propagation, creatures, and the overall mix of key areas of change. And if you want to see a very good video on it, it is older, but it does give you a good rundown. You can see Gopher's video right over here. Go check that out. Take a look at it. You can get an idea of what all the sound does. But, you know, that's not the focus of this series. We don't do, you know, showcases. We just do installations and talking about it for Mod Organizer. So we have this. Let's go ahead and install that first. We'll go into Files. And you can see AOS 2.5.1 Full Installer. Like I said, August 2015. Go ahead and download that with Manager. There is a note for mod organizer users. Make sure your internal full mod installer is set to true. Most times it should be. If it's not, this may be a problem for you if you don't see the full mod, but it'll be there. So you can go ahead and uh, check that out. There's other ones here. This is for updating, but if you're just updating, you know, doing this a new install, you only need this. If you're doing an updating, just download that if you're using an older version of AOS. So let's go into mod organizer first and we will take a look at that one. And you can see it's right there, AOS 2.5.1 full install. And you can see we're all set up and ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and double click to install. And you can see there's the full mod, so we have it set up right. And we're just going to expand this a little bit so we can see it a little better. And you have use the smart installer. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do things. And that way you don't miss much. We'll get into exactly, you know, some of the options later on. We'll go ahead and click next. And you can see main OS plugin, Skyrim, Dongard and Dragonborn or Dongard and Dragonborn, that's the one we want. Go ahead and click Next. Sounds of Skyrim not detected, and I will get into this later, but basically Sounds of Skyrim is not detected because I don't have it installed. The second option shows Sounds of Skyrim detected. If you have all three, you need to have all three activated for this to work, but we'll get into that later. And Sounds of Skyrim incompatibility. If you have one or two versions, you cannot put in the patch. Now, weather mods, you will have all your different options for weather mods right here. But you notice you don't have vivid weathers. We will handle a patch for that. Because remember, back in a way long episode, we had vivid weathers. There is a patch for AOS. So you have no weather mods. Go ahead and click Next. This is, is a smart installer. It will actually tell you what mods you have installed. You have Guard Dialog Overhaul already checked. You have Realistic Water 2 already checked. But there are other ones here. Now, the only main option you may have here is Disable AOS interior rain sound. If you don't like the rain in inside rooms, you can go ahead and click this and it'll turn it off. But you have all these other mods right here. You could do this manually, but I think that this is probably a better way of doing it for the most part. You know, you have other mods that are right here. You have weapon armor fixes remade, wet and cold, stuff that I may use later on. But I'll show you both ways so I can, you know, how I use notes and whatnot. So you can see everything is checked. We're going to go ahead and click install. Now, audio overall for Skyrim 2, we'll go ahead and activate it. And you see the multiple ESPs have been activated. And when you scroll down and you have AOS ESP, that's the main file and the three patches that we have for it presently. 
We're going to slide this up. I don't see any interactions right now, but I'm going to slide it above Vivid Weathers because that makes the most sense because we know eventually it's going to have a patch for it. So we're going to have Auto Overhaul for Skyrim 2 right there. And we're going to go ahead and move this up. Now, I'm going to show you something real fast on this. I'm going to go ahead and put AOS 2 right up at the top ahead of Relighting Skyrim and ELE. And this will be relevant later. But we're going to just go ahead and run loot real fast and see what it does. And you see it dropped it down below Relighting Skyrim and ELE. So this is where AOS wants to be. Now the patches are still down here at the bottom because loot decided it didn't really need to move those. But we're going to leave those there for right now. There is a Vivid Weathers patch. If you double click to install or double click, just open it up and you can see optional ESPs. I have the AOS patch already installed as one of my options for Vivid Weather. Go ahead and select that and move it down and close it. If you did not install it at the initial time of installing Vivid Weathers, you simply right click and then reinstall the mod and it'll go through the options again and make sure you include the AOS 2 patch. So that's just one way of doing it. Now, stop that, get off of there. Now you also have, you can see Vivid Weathers down here, you have an AOS 2 patch, you wanna activate that and we should be all set for all the AOS 2 patches that you need for this. Okay, so that is installed. I'm not going to move these patches around just yet, but if you wanted to stop there, this is a complete mod. I mean, auto overhaul for Skyrim 2, is has basically everything you wanted. If you wanted to stop here and say, this is a very good experience, I like this very much, you can stop here. You would just go ahead and either have to rearrange these patches or do what I'm going to do later with the merge plugin standalone, and you can merge them all together. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to go install another mod, and we'll go take a look at that real fast, and it is sound called Immersive Sounds Compendium by Lazy Gecko. Username is Lazy Skeever and is mod number 54387. This is a newer mod. It was released back in 2014. It's had some recent updates. So it is much newer. And what it does is has different options for all of the weapons, bowstrings, the spells, all those different things, where auto overall for Skyrim didn't give you any options. What it does not include is ambiance sounds. So by overriding audio overall for Skyrim with immersive sounds compendium, you're getting the ambiance sounds provided by audio overall for Skyrim 2 and getting all the other sounds that are provided by immersive sounds compendium. And there's a bunch of them I really like. I like the options of having different styles of weapons. You know, there's multiple types of swings for all the different swords versus axes versus different things. So, you know, different spell options, there's a lot here. And it also includes things like, you know, item interaction. If you're opening a chest or picking up a potion, there's a lot of good stuff here. And I really like it. At first, I was, a, you know, a little put off by this video. Um, looking at it, I thought some of them were a little over the top. But once I got into it and started seeing there were more options for the different things, I was able to tone it down. It really achieved a nice mix. So we'll be doing both together and you can do this, run them together. It's not a problem because there is a patch for it. We'll show you that. And there is a main file, Immersive Sounds Compendium 2.0.1. It was updated in April of 2016. The old versions, there's some stuff down here. There is a Perkis Maximus patch, but it is very old. So just keep that in mind. The rest are just old versions. So download that with Manager and we'll go take a look at it in Mod Organizer. And you can see in our download section, it is right there. Immersive Sounds Compendium. Remember we have audio over off of Skyrim 2, and it is probably fine where it is for right now, because remember there's a patch for Vivid Weathers, we need to have it above this. And we're going to install Immersive Sounds Compendium. And you see we're presented with another faux mod, and there's lots of stuff, and it says, read this, read this, if you want to hear comparisons between any other stuff. You can go watch this video. I don't even know if this works or not, but you can go check it out. So you have the main files required and you click next. You have the different weapon impact options. And there are four options. You can pick whichever one you want. Read the different descriptions for each. You know, I'm probably, you know, instant impacts are probably the ones you want. Whether you want the extra bloody or the less intense, this is all based off of your preferences. Read the descriptions and choose the one you want. 
I want less intense with instant impacts. The weapon draw sheath options, the same thing, read the options and what you want. I'm just going to choose semi-smooth because I never know what I might choose later on. And click next and you're presented with the bow shot options, high fantasy, high fantasy shorter arrow whistle, high fantasy no arrow whistle. Realistic, I like realistic, I do. And I think twangy sounds good. Bull pull options, you have the default choice and the alternate, you know, sounds more subdued than default choice. So if you want that really high volume draw on your bowstring, choose IS default, I choose alternate. Arrow impacts, I like high fantasy. Oddly enough, I like the high fantasy. I don't know why, but I find the less intense just not as not as fun. High fantasy for the impacts, I just think high fantasy impacts are good. Click next. And these, you can actually select one or all of them and read each one that you want. Extra gory kill move sounds for when you have melee sounds during a kill move sequence. Sounds more gory and brutal. Actually, I, I what the hell? We'll try that. Smooth weapon swings, no metallic elements. I actually like the metallic elements. And then the silent arrow projectile loop. I, you read the description, decide if it's for you. I like the way it is. In my testing, I like this. I prefer having this clicked off. Click next. Next, please. Thank you. These are the restoration spells. You have High Fantasy, Classic RPG, Templar, and Vanilla. If you don't want to have any changes, click Vanilla. But you can choose these other three options, whichever one you want. See, there's lots of options. I like options. Templar, what the heck? Swooshy Fireball or Alternate Fireball. More cannon-like, more swooshy. Swooshy. Uh, cannon-like, sure, why not? And click Next. Demonic Draugr? Sure, why not? That sounds good. Well-mannered wolves, they don't have the breathing like they have, you know, blocked nasal passages or something. We'll click that. And Sensible Storm Actronox, the more subtle. Ah, what the heck? Click that. Click Next. Uh, Ninroot? Oh, I hate Ninroots. I hate Ninroot sounds. I'm going to go Silent Ninroot. And then you have the more options. And these are ones you can click or not. You can collect all of them or you can, you know, not click any of them. Uh, more rustling heavy armor. I like the that. Uh, Oblivion Scouts, Skill Up, Sound Up, no. Dungeon Ambiance. We're using the one from Audio Overall of Skyrim 2, TSO Scumming. That actually sounds pretty good when I tested it. Silent Weapon Enchants. Mm, sure. Silent Left Hand, Silent Sneak Attack, Silent World Map, Silent Ragdoll Player. Okay. Whichever ones you want, choose the right ones after reading the descriptions. We're just going to click Next. And these are the compatibility patches, and there's quite a few of them here, but I want you to be able to see them all. You have AOS compatibility patch. We need that. We're using AOS 2. Perkus Maximus, Skyrim Redone, Requiem, Balance Magic, CCOR. We may need this, so I'm going to go ahead and just activate it because I may want that later on. Enhanced blood textures and eh, some of this other stuff. CC, oh, this is the clothing clutter fixes compatibility patch. I may need that, and I may need the weapons armor fixes. Unlike the Installer for audio overall for Skyrim 2 allows you to pick all your patches ahead of time. But I'm going to just, you know, activate the ones I think I might need, and then later on I can activate them, you know, as needed. So I'm going to click install. So immersive sounds compendium. We're going to open this up, and right away we're going to go to optional ESPs. And I don't have CCF right now. I'm going to put that up. I'm not I have Waffer right now. I'm going to move that up. This is the AOS patch. I need that and CCO. CCO patch. I don't need that right now. I'm going to move it up and I'm just going to have a note to myself on both of these mods and we'll show you how to do that on why, how I use mod or how I use notes rather. So go ahead and close that. Go down to our plugins. You can see we have all these patches right here. Immersive Sounds Compendium. We're going to move that up. Where was AOS? I've lost AOS. We're going to move that up. We'll just move it up high right now and see what happens. So there we go. This is how I use notes. I'm going to move this up too. So this is how I use notes. I'm going to open this up. Audio overall for Skyrim 2. And we're going to go to our notes. And I'm just going to put multiple patches. Let's see if I can spell it correctly. Patches. Avail in FOMOD. Okay, and close that down. And then Immersive Sounds Compendium. I'm just going to open this up and do the same thing, but with a slightly different name. Go into notes and let's just say multiple patches available. And the reason why I do this 
is so that I have notes available that remind me that there are patches available for each of them. So you can see for that one, I have overwrites multiple patches available, and I have overwritten files, multiple patches available in the faux mod. And that tells me with audio overall with Skyrim, I need to run the faux mod again. But the patches for Immersive Sounds Compendium are included in the mod itself. They're just set to optional. Now for Vivid Weathers, I have the same thing, you know, AOS2 and Minty's patch in the faux mod. So they're also there they they're ahead of time, and you can see all the patches are down here. So here's my thing. I have one, two, three, four, five patches. And I don't like arranging these. The first thing we're going to do is set our load order. So make sure loot is correct. I think it's going to probably drop down Immersive Sounds Compendium. Whatever it wants to do is fine. So already made no changes. Okay, so it's, it is fine and happy with having AOS and Immersive Sounds Compendium right after relighting Skyrim and ELE. So, but remember AOS, we tried to put it above and it wouldn't do it. So I'm fine having it this way. This is the proper load order because AOS is providing everything and then Immersive Sounds com is coming in and overriding everything except for the ambiance. So what do we do with all of these patches? We are going to use Mator the Eternals Merge Plugin Standalone. And there is an excellent video on how to set this up by Michael from Gamer Poets. I suggest you read that or go view that and learn it and learn how to use it. It is a very powerful tool and it is very easy to use once you learn how to do it. And I'm not going to show you everything that you need to know about how to set it up and all that stuff. That's more for you to go and do on your own. I'm just going to show you how I use it myself and because I've used it before for Enhanced Landscapes Merge. I'm going to show you all this. Go ahead and click on that, and we're going to click OK. And we have to, you see all this stuff way up here. Click OK. And we'll wait for the background loader to get done doing its thing. Background loader is finished. And you can see at the very bottom, I have the AOS2 GDO patch and all these other things right here. You know, the other two are right up, where are they? I've lost them again. There they are, AOS, ESP, and Immersive Sounds Compendium. I need to check that for errors. Come on, check for errors. Just make sure. Looks good. Okay. So now this, these are that's what that does. It's basically you're checking the ESP for any errors, and these little check marks are telling you I've already done that. We are going to merge all these things together, but because they are contained in mods that have assets attached to them, namely AOS and Immersive Sounds Compendium, I need to make a change first. I'm going to go click on that. I'll show you where that is. You click on the gears right here. This is your options page. Come over to integrations, and this is what we're going to do. You can see this is how you set it up initially. And remember, the copy general assets. If I were doing something like with Enhanced Landscapes where I wanted to mer merge all the assets, all the textures and meshes and all that general stuff together, I would have this ticked. Because I'm only merging ESPs, I do not want all the assets from Audio Overhaul from Skyrim, from Immersive Sounds Compendium, and Vivid Weathers because it has an ESP from Vivid Weathers, remember? I do not want that checked. I just want to merge those ESPs together, right? So under Integrations, go to Copy General Assets and click OK. What we're going to do first, now that we've got that set up, we are going to create a new merge. Click on the plus sign and we are going to call it AOS. Let's just go slash IC. I'm trying to set how to name this. Let's say AOS ICS patches. How about that? I could do away with little things right there, but I'm just going to go ahead and copy this down. Copy that way I can just go ahead and do this as well. There we go. And paste. That way everything matches up. So merge method overrides. Renumbering conflicting is fine. Go and click OK. So now under merges, we have a merge available that doesn't have anything attached to it. What we'll do is we're going to take all these patches and we're just going to control click all three, four, five, and right click add to merge AOS ICS patches. Now when we go back into our merges, you can see it's now green. Okay, it is all ready to go. We now click the hammer to build our merges. And we will go ahead and close. Close, we are all done with that. 
And we are built it. It shows the last day built was August 8th. That's today. And we can go ahead and close it. Go ahead and right click on it, select all refresh, and boom, there it is. We're going to go ahead and activate that. And you see it's all right there. When you hover over it, it will give you the names of all the patches that are included in that and all the masters that are needed. So, two ways to do this you can either de click all these, deselect all of these, but it's probably a better choice because this is the, we're doing it the right way. Go into the individual mods that you did, go in the optional ESPs, AOS patch, we don't need to have that anymore. Goes away. Audio overall for Skyrim 2, optional ESPs, up, 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 close it. So the only thing we have left to do is the IS Compendium AOS patch, and that's Immersive Sound Compendium. Go in the optional ESPs and AOS 2 patch. So if you ever need to rebuild patches because you add mods, you'll just need to drop these back down and rebuild the patch accordingly. So just make sure that all the patches are contiguous at the bottom of the screen. Deactivate this one or remove this one and just go into Merge Plugin Standalone and rebuild the patch. But you can learn that from Michael's video and do that. So we are going to move this up because this has Vivid Weathers patch inside of it. We need to find Vivid Weathers and place it after that. That way, because it has all those ESPs from AOS 2 and ISC and Vivid Weathers, it is following Vivid Weathers ESP because that's the last ESP that the patch covers. So we can now go ahead and move this up underneath Vivid Weathers. And you're all done. Just go ahead and run loot just to make sure everything is copacetic. We may have to make an adjustment. It should be fine with this if I remember correctly. Oh, has a change. It moved some stuff up here. What did it move? I can't see AOS 2. It moved some things around. It looks like it moved Realistic Water 2 up. I'm probably fine with that. Realistic 2 Water Legendary and AOSC. Yeah, this is fine. I'm happy with this. It has AOS 2 is way up here. Immersive Sound Compendium is underneath AOS 2. And Vivid Weathers is here. And the patches have all that stuff. So we're looking good here. Now, we should be able to go in and play our game with all new sounds. And if you ever have to, you know, go ahead and reinstall it, you'll just have to go through and reinstall Immersive Sounds Compendium. But before making any, you know, pat merging any plugins together, go ahead, play the game with the patches without being merged. Decide on your sound setup ahead of time so you know what you're getting into. Now, that's all done. I'm, I'm done. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this down and we're going to come back and we're going to talk about Sounds of Skyrim, how it works and why I don't use it. Okay, as promised, we are now going to talk about Sounds of Skyrim and why I don't use it and the problems it creates. You know, on the Nexus, it has three basic mods. You have Sounds of Skyrim. This is the Wilds. It's about the only one I do like. Uh, you have, and that's mod number 10886. And these are all three done by Cliff Worms. You have Civilization 20193 and The Dungeons by Cliff Worms 8601. All three of these add ambient sounds. In other words, sounds in the background that aren't activated by anything. It's not spells, it's not weapons, it's not footfalls, it's not any of that type of stuff. These are background sounds, ambience, ambient sounds. So, with that in mind, sometimes people ask me, well, I want that, this to go with audio overhaul for Skyrim, or I want this to go with Immersive Sound Compendium because Immersive Sound Compendium doesn't have ambient sounds. You want this to go with it. Okay, well, there are problems, and we are going to talk about that. Let's get into Mod Organizer, and I will show you what I did. You can see I have all three downloaded right here, and the first thing I did was I created a Sounds of Skyrim. I merged all three together into one thing and you have when you open this up you can see optional esps all three are in here and of course the file tree has all the sounds docs and whatever else okay so that's the first thing i did with that in mind if you come over to plugins you're going to say well okay i've got all three of these here well what am i going to do with them well first thing we're going to need to address is audio overhaul for skyrim 2 and in the first section you didn't see everything that Audio Overhaul for Skyrim had to say about it 
in the foam mod installer because we didn't have all three installed. And this is the only way we'll get the available patch that is included with Auto Overhaul for Skyrim 2. So let's just go ahead and reinstall it and we'll show you what I'm talking about. Reinstall mod, use the smart installer. Uh, sure, why not? Next. Uh, see, it's now saying sounds of Skyrim detected. Let's move this up and drop this down a little bit. See here, all this stuff here. Sounds of Skyrim detected. Okay, the installer selected for this option detected all three versions of Skyrim. Okay, click next to view information about the SOS compatibility patch that will be installed. This is in additional information we could not see before. So just keep in mind, this is also, you know, give some good information. Let's click next and see what we get. See, this is the patch information. You know, there's a lot of stuff here. And what it's telling you is there are problems with this installer. Even if you get the patch, in the first paragraph it mentions, mods make many changes to interior exterior locations that are not compatible with mods like lighting overhauls, ELFX, RLO, and relighting Skyrim. And in this case, also ELE unless additional compatibility patch is used. And I looked around and there are no compatibility patches for ELE. So what this means is that you have problems. You can continue reading this stuff like I did. It's all good information, but I'm just gonna skip ahead and we're just going to cancel this and I'm going to show you what the problem is. The second step I did was I went ahead and took all three of these ESPs and all the other files and merged them all together using merge plugin standalone and merged them all into Sounds of Skyrim merged. And you'll see that right there where, it, don't worry about that, it's just overwriting the same files. So with this, you know, you could either put it after Audio Overall for Skyrim 2, or you could put it before or after Immersive Sounds Compendium. It does not matter because Immersive Sounds Compendium does not have any ambient sounds. Another rough day on my voice. You know, just keep that in mind. When you have Sounds of Skyrim, merged. I tried placing it. You can put it before or after Immersive Sound Compendium. It doesn't really matter. Or you'd have to put it before Audio Overall for Skyrim, which is right up here. All right, so let's go ahead and put it there. And let's just run loot to see what it does. I think I probably admit that wrong. Yeah, it needs... I was wrong. It needs to be after audio overall of Skyrim because the ambient sounds will overwrite the ambient sounds from AOS. So this is the correct way. So Loot wants to have it after AOS. Now I'm going to go into TS5 Edit and we're going to show you some of the problems that this has. It'll take me a while to get this all set up, so it's quite a bit to look at. So just bear with me. I'll be right back. All right. Now we're all set up. We can start taking a look at some of this stuff. I've got different things going on up here. And you can see this is the file for Sounds of Skyrim merged. And the reason why I merged them all together is so you can see everything. You know, the wilds, the civilization, the dungeons, the whole thing. Each one of these red entries indicates that Sounds of Skyrim is overriding something and there's a conflict. You can see it's overriding ELE is changing the value from 8,000 to zero. And you go along, you see the same sort of thing happen everywhere along the line. You're seeing it's making a ton of changes to ELE. We don't want that to happen. And the problem is, let's start just scrolling down here and you can see how many we're talking about. They keep going down and 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 down. And you keep going down. I mean, there's tons of these. All these red markers are things that Sounds of Skyrim is overriding ELE. Okay, so unless you're willing to go through and change every one of these files to make sure ELE wins, you're not going to create, you know, it's going to have to create your own patch for it because there is no patch available for it. You're going to have to do that all yourself. So I want all these interior cell spaces. I want ELE to win. I don't want Sounds of Skyrim. Why is Sounds of Skyrim messing with the, the lights and all these different things in there? It doesn't make any sense to me. So we're just going to close that down. I'm going to clean up my overwrite. So that's the problem. Now, with that in mind, you would have to have Sounds of Skyrim and AOS 2 go ahead of Relighting Skyrim and ELE to make sure that they win the lighting changes that are needed to make it work, or otherwise ELE is worthless. You know, without a patch to do it, 
you're probably better off. Another option is to probably go ahead and try to use loot at the end of your mod creating to try and create exceptions for all this stuff to move it around, but you really don't know what that's gonna do to your load order in the end. So that's why I don't use Sounds of Skyrim at all. It's basically just a pain, it's not worth it, and I would rather just use the ambient sounds from Audio Overhaul for Skyrim 2 along with Immersive Sounds Compendium and all of its patches, okay? So that's kind of what we're looking at, guys, and you just have to remember that's why I don't use Sounds of Skyrim, and that's probably why a lot of people are recommending you don't use them anymore. It was a question that I was asked before, and this is the reason why. So that's a long episode, and there's a lot of good information in there. I hope you guys are enjoying the series, and this episode really had a lot of good information showed you different tools that you could use in your game, especially the Emerge plugin script. I use it all the time for different things. It is very helpful. So thanks for watching the series. My name's Cal. I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.